Welcome to the Micromanager screencast on the Hardware Configuration Wizard. We will begin by starting Micromanager without a configuration file. Since we will create this file in this screencast, we can start the Hardware Configuration Wizard by going to Tools and then Hardware Configuration Wizard. The Configuration Wizard is a six-step guide. There are instructions to follow on the right column. You can choose to start a new configuration or modify an existing file. Our system will consist of a camera, stage, and microscope. You can choose to configure your devices one at a time or all at once. For the purpose of this screencast, we will configure one device at a time. We'll start by configuring the camera. The Hamamatsu camera has an output in the back that goes into the camera controller. From the controller, there is a FireWire output which plugs into a PCI FireWire adapter card that is installed in our computer. Through this adapter card, we can communicate with our camera. We recommend that you look at the documentation provided in our website for all of the devices you intend to configure with Micromanager. You can also do this by selecting the device and clicking help. You may find drivers and other essential information in this document to help you configure your device. In this case, we will need the drivers which we have already installed. Now we can click Add to begin the configuration process. Here you are given an option to name your device as you would like to refer to it, and this option is available for any device you add to your configuration. The camera has initialized and now we can move on. Steps 3, 4, and 5 are not required for this device, so we will skip them, but we will come back to them for the next two devices. We can now name and save this configuration file. By keeping the send configuration box checked, you could really assist us in improving Micromanager by providing us with knowledge of the types of devices running under Micromanager and also help us a great deal in securing further funding for the project. You can now click finish and snap an image just to be sure there are no communication errors. This microscope is equipped with a Ludl stage, which communicates with a Mac 5000 controller box through cable connections. The controller then plugs into our computer through a serial port connection. Once the wiring is in place, we can start the configuration wizard, and this time we will simply modify the same file in which we configured the camera. We can begin by looking at the documentation for the Ludl stage to be sure we are not missing any key information. Now we can add the Ludl hub device which will allow us to communicate with all of the sub devices connected to the control box. So this means stages, shutters and other devices. By clicking scan, Micromanager will scan through the ports on the computer to establish communication with the device of interest and then set initialization parameters. It seems that Micromanager could not detect the serial port connection and selecting any port will give us an error message. This is because the Ludl control box was not powered on and now have powered on the control box. So now Micromanager was able to detect the port as COM3. As previously mentioned, the Ludl controller will communicate with the XY stage, but in addition to this device, we also have a Ludl shutter in our system, both of which need to be added to our configuration file as sub-devices. In step 3, if we had more than one shutter, we could set one as default, but since we have only one, we can move on to the next step. In step 4, a delay could be added for the shutter, but I would recommend looking through the instructions on the right column or in the device documentation for more information on whether it is required for your device. But in my case, I do not need any delays. Step 5 would not apply to the shutter or XY stage since both of which do not require labels. Moving on to the sixth step, we have reached the final step 
and so we simply could override the previous configuration so that it is updated with the recent changes. Now we will begin configuring the Zeiss Axiover 200M microscope which consists of a halogen lamp along with a shutter, dichroic wheel, objective turns and other peripheral devices. The microscope will be connected to our computer via a serial port connection. You should follow the same steps as with the previous two devices in order to set up communication between MicroManager and the serial ports connected to the microscope. The Zeiss microscope and most of the other microscopes listed on our website are set up with the auto detection which means that once you have added the hub device, MicroManager will automatically detect all of the peripheral devices associated with this device and you simply check the devices you would like to configure. So in our case we have added the hub device and selected here all of the peripherals we would like to use in our configuration. In the third step, we can now choose to set either Zeiss or Ludo shutter as the default shutter, but we will leave the Ludo shutter for now and we can change this at any time in the core properties. Moving on to the fourth step, where we will need to add a delay time for the halogen lamp, which requires a few seconds to warm up. This serves as a great example for devices which require delay times. In step 5, we can enter labels for our dichroics, objective turrets, and other devices requiring labels. As shown here, we have labeled all of our dichroics and objectives, and we would do the same for the other two devices, but for now, we can move on to the final step and save all of our changes to this configuration file. Let's take a look at our device and property browser for a complete list of all of our devices and they all seem to be there along with respective properties which we can alter. As we can see from this screencast the configuration of, of your microscope setup is not very difficult and can easily be completed in 30 to 40 minutes. We recommend that you test the functionality of your hardware with software provided by the vendor before configuring with MicroManager to be sure everything is working properly.